What's up, Van Fam? We are here in the beautiful Garden of the Gods in Colorado Springs, and you might notice there are some things missing from the van. So Paul is getting some work done at a co-working space. Orlando is actually in obedience school because he's been a bit of a troublemaker lately. So you know what that means. I'm flying solo, so it's time to party! Just kidding, it's gonna be a very solemn day and I'm gonna miss Paul and Orlando very much. <laughs> in all seriousness though, um, when you're living in a van with someone for a year and a half, any opportunity you get for a little bit of space, you take it. Now, one question we get asked a lot is what do we eat in a van? So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through my whole day and show you what I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So normally for breakfast, I would have some oatmeal or cottage cheese, but I went a little nuts last night and had about three too many Dulce de Leche donuts. So I'm gonna take it easy this morning and start off with some coffee and see how things settle. Uh, so to make coffee, I'm gonna first filter my water. So I poured some water out of our tap into this grail cup. So we've been using the Berkey Sport bottles for a while. Paul still uses his and loves it. For some reason, mine stopped working. So I switched to this grail system, which you can pick up at REI. And it's pretty neat because it works like a French press. So you have the water in here, and then all you have to do is push this down and just use your body weight. It takes a couple seconds. But what's really cool about the system is that it filters out everything that the Berkey Sport would filter out. So it's got a carbon element. So, you know, chemicals, bacteria, protozoa, sediment. And uh, what's cool is you can just take this then and pour it into a cup. So before with the Berkey Sport, I have to squeeze the death out of that bottle just to fill up a cup with water. But with the French press, you can just fill it up. So I'm gonna make some coffee. All you coffee purists out there, you should probably fast forward right now because you're not going to like this. But I use instant coffee, which we've just found is the easiest to use in the van. We've tried every coffee method, but we found a good um, instant coffee that works for us. It's the Mount Hagen coffee. You can get it at Whole Foods, um, but we like the taste of it. So I'm going to hit the inverter, pop this into the microwave and get some coffee going. All right, so now that we've got our hot water, I'm gonna put in one to two teaspoons of the instant coffee. I'm gonna add some monk fruit, which we've been getting into. Uh, it's just a really sweet, um, I guess it's a sugar replacement, uh, but it's really good. So I'm gonna put some monk fruit in there, some soy milk, and you have your coffee. I think, even though it's a little cold outside, I'm gonna head up to the roof deck to drink this coffee. I always drink my coffee up there. It's just such a nice place to chill and get some fresh air. So it's definitely fresh up here. I think it's like in the mid 20s, but it is so worth this view. So those are the red rocks of Garden of the Gods. And then behind me, you might be able to see Pike's Peak, but this is just what it's all about. I mean, the fact that I'm on top of my home, on my roof deck, drinking coffee, Experiencing this, it's just amazing. And for me, it's what, you know, this adventure and what living in a van is all about. All right, so those donuts from last night haven't quite digested yet. So I'm gonna see if I can speed up the process and go on a little bit of a hike. Uh, but I'm in the park right now in Garden of the Gods. And I don't know what it is about this place, but I'm just in love with it. You know, out of all the places we've been around the country, this is definitely in my top five. There's some, magic to the space that uh, I'm just in love with. So I think by now those donuts are pretty well digested, so it's time to put a little something in my tummy. And actually when I was out on the hike, someone said there are some bighorn sheep on the other side of the park, which is why it's important 
if you're making meals in a van, you want them to be quick so you can get them done and get driving to seeing some more adventures. So I'm gonna go with a protein shake. I use this Garden of Life raw organic meal. It's got pretty much everything you need to live a happy and healthy life. And I use a little protein shaker. And again, I like this because it's super quick, easy and fast to make and easy and fast to clean up. So get a little scoop of the stuff in here. And of course I went with the chocolate flavor. Put in a little soy milk. And then give it a good shake. tip, make sure the lid is securely fastened before you shake, otherwise things can turn messy pretty quickly. Let's go find some sheep. Awesome, I got to see some bighorn sheep up close for the first time. Uh, so now it's time to do some dishes. So I have my shaker bottle and my coffee cup. So I'm gonna introduce you to a technique I like to call the shake and dump. So first I'm gonna turn on the water pump, fill up my mug with a little bit of water, and then it's time to shake and dump. Here we go, easy as one, two, three. And again, when you're living in a van, you want things to be really quick and easy and clean. And so this method works for me. All right, so usually after breakfast, I like to get a little bit of work in. The problem is that I don't have enough cell reception to do work. So I have one bar right now. So I'm gonna turn on the Wii Boost and see if it makes a difference. So our Wii Boost is in here. And Alvans helped us install a handy dandy on off switch up here so we can turn that on. And then I'm gonna pull the internal antenna out. And let's see if that makes a difference. All right, so already I jumped from one bar to three bars, which is typically what we get from the Wii Boost. It usually adds two to three bars, uh, which for me is enough to be able to do work. So I'm gonna go and sit in my CSS by Canyon Adventure Vans and do some work at my desk. It's lunchtime, baby. All right, so for lunch, I will either have some broccoli so this is pre-cooked broccoli from trader joe's again really easy and clean you just microwave it for a little bit and i'll often pair it with some vegan field roast to get some protein in there but today i'm gonna have a bagged salad now these are great they sell them at whole foods at trader joe's they're pretty cheap they're like three or four bucks and again mess free easy quick which is what i go for so i'm gonna open this up and it comes with these little uh, toppings and uh, dressing packages. So I'm gonna pour these in. So this one is an Asian inspired salad. So I'm gonna pour in some of these crispy noodles, put the dressing in. And then shake it up. Okay, I'm noticing now that <laughs> my day involves a lot of shaking, but as long as it gets the job done, right? All right, and I actually eat these right out of the bag. You'll probably think I'm depraved for doing this, but I just don't like doing dishes. I don't like cleaning, and this keeps it super simple and easy. So good. 
So throughout the day while I was working, I munched on an apple, some rice cakes, and also some trail mix. But now I'm stationed outside of the co-working space that Paul's working at, uh, and I figured I would cook him up a nice fancy meal so he has something to enjoy after a long day of work. Now ordinarily I'd bring the induction cooktop outside on a fold-out table, but it's kind of crummy outside so I'm going to cook inside. All right, so let's go over our ingredients. So we're gonna cook up a tempeh broccoli stir fry. If you haven't, haven't heard of tempeh, it's really good for you. It's a fermented soybean. I know it sounds gross, but it's actually pretty tasty and nutty. So I'm gonna start off with some oil in the pan, some olive oil. Uh, I like to use these, so pre-chopped garlic and ginger because I'm in a van, I don't feel like chopping garlic and getting everything smelly and messy. So I use these. Uh, you've got some tempeh that you can find in your grocery store. Some broccoli that was frozen that I defrosted. Again, I don't have to chop or anything. It's already chopped into florets. Uh, and then for the sauce, I'm going for some coconut aminos, some sriracha, oh. and of course, you know it wouldn't be a meal without some nutritional yeast. So the name of the game is put everything in a pan, stir it around, and you got yourself a meal. Uh, I'm actually gonna open up the windows now and turn on the fan so that it doesn't get too smoky or smelly in here. Wish me luck. Hey, babe. Hey. Ooh, it smells really good in here. Uh -huh. How's it day? Great. Oh, that's done. You made your little uh, tempeh broccoli stir. Ooh, it's like a... So do me a favor, guys. Help me show Chad just how much I love and appreciate his food by giving this video a big thumbs up and then subscribe to the channel for more questionable van life content. We release videos every Sunday and go live every Thursday night. Thanks so much for checking out the video guys. See you next time.